In this episode, a brand new Mustang GT350R gets completely wrecked. He's gonna be on foot. He's gonna be, oh, oh, what happened there? I question my waistline. What is happening with these vehicles? Why am I, am I like so fat that I can't even squeeze in into the opening there? And a stolen car goes missing. That's not our vehicle. So where's the vehicle? I have no idea where the vehicle is. I've never had this before. Hello there, my name is Anton. Welcome to another episode of GTA 5 LSPDFR. Today we got a special, special car, and that is the Ford Mustang GT 350R. Yes, this is the car by Master Schwag, just released a couple of days ago, and I could not pass up on an opportunity to use it in a patrol. Now, I know it's not a typical police vehicle that you see. I don't really know of any police departments that have a Mustang GT 350R, but like I said, I could not pass up on an opportunity to use this awesome, awesome looking car. So that is what we're gonna do on today's patrol. Before we get started, as always, I am gonna give you a quick look here at the vehicle and check this baby out. I mean, it looks absolutely fabulous. Yes, it does. I mean, speed enforcement. Look at that. A Bay and Survive. I mean, I love this vehicle. It looks really, really great. I'm a big fan of Mustangs myself. So having this Mustang here in the game, like I said, might not be a realistic police vehicle, but it sure is a fun one. Let's go ahead here and uh, quickly take a look at the lights and all of our different uh, three ALS stages that we have. So this is the third stage of ALS. We got some lights there, of course, on our light bar, a couple lights there uh, right behind our windshield and a few lights there down behind our grill. Swing it around to the back of the car too. Look at that, a couple lights there in the back uh, window. And uh, of course the traffic control lights and the ambers there in the light bar as well. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this into the second stage of ELS. It will just essentially uh, change the patterns there, disable the wigwags there for us. You no longer see the tail lights there going off and let's swing around to the front here. What happens here? We still have all of our lights turned on, except again, the wigwags are now off and the patterns have changed on the lights. And then we drop it into the first stage of ALS. The front of the car is completely dark. And now we just have these traffic control lights that go off there in our light bar. So those are the three different ALS stages here for the Mustang. Let's go ahead and jump inside and check this out. I mean, this is just beautiful. Quite a narrow view out of the windshield, but that's not a big problem. It is a sports car, so it is kind of built up there in uh, inside there. Got all of our gauges there. Of course, our computer, gotta have the police computer. No divider there for the passenger compartment. And I mean, there's really not a pass passenger compartment for this vehicle since it's a two-door vehicle. You probably don't wanna have any prisoners back there because they would essentially have to climb over these race car seats, but a great car there nonetheless. The only issue I see is this little clipping problem here with this uh, roof right here when you look in this corner. But other than that, no issues whatsoever. Hands are on the wheel. Very, very nice. So great, great car here. And of course we got the radar and everything like that as well. I hear already somebody doing a burnout. So we're gonna take this baby for a spin. Gonna do a patrol here, kind of in the Rockford uh, Hills area, Vinewood area. We'll see what sort of trouble we can find. Looking really for speeders, for people, really reckless drivers, or maybe even a pursuit. We'll see if we'll get a pursuit on today's patrol as well. So let's roll out. Let's see what happens here. Dispatch a three, Adam 10. You can go ahead and show me a 1041 and I'll be 10-8. I think what we're going to do for the start of our patrol is we're going to find a spot somewhere where we can run some radar and hopefully, oh, never mind. Uh, roger that, dispatch uh, 3, Adam 10 responding code 3, just like that. Look at that, that is the call I actually wanted. And uh, randomly the game has, oh, what? I hear horns going off. Randomly the game has picked a call for us. Whoa, what's happening right here? We got a firefighter on the ground too. Uh, dispatch 3, Adam 10, have a firefighter down here on, um, See if I can just jump out here on uh, South Del Perro Boulevard. Uh, see if I can get a uh, EMS out here. Can I get a 1052 here to my location? And I'm gonna need another unit out here, code three as well, to assist. Wow, what happened there? I mean, they're just coming out of the station. I don't know. If, I don't know if he came out of the station and just lost consciousness or what happened. But we got some vehicles racing. We got to get to. 
they're on the scene right now, so I'll let them handle this, and we're gonna try to catch up to those vehicles that are racing. All right, coming up here on the location where vehicles were last seen, a black Vapid Saddler pickup truck is what we're looking for. So two pickup trucks seem to be racing out here somewhere in Vinewood area. Oh, there's one right there. I think that might be him. I think that one of them might be him. Oh, watch out for the light pole there. Oh, he just 10 50 into the back of that vehicle and he's pushing them out of the way. All right, I got one of them. Let's go ahead and see if maybe we can initiate a stop here. Oh, he's attempting to flee. He's attempting to flee right now. He's gonna be on foot. He's gonna be, oh, oh, what happened there? Oh, there's the second pickup truck. He just rear-ended this vehicle that's behind me and pushed me out of the way. Dispatch three, Adam 10, I need additional unit out here. I have the vehicle located. Can I, we also get an air support unit to assist? Uh, suspect is right now running on foot eastbound Spanish Avenue. Let's see here if we can uh, intercept him here. It looks like that firefighter was saved. Oh, there, that's him right there, sir. Los Santos police, get on the ground. I think he's attempting to steal a vehicle. Hey, no, 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 get on the ground, get on the ground. Put your hands up, hands up. Taser deployed, taser deployed. Get your hands up, he's not complying right now this time. Hands up, there we go. Hands up, on the ground, on the ground. He tried stealing this vehicle. Get on the ground. We still have another suspect there that uh, ended up 10 into the vehicle that was behind me. And uh, we're going to try to catch up to him. Dispatch a three, Adam 10. I have one suspect in custody here on uh, Las Lagunas Boulevard at the intersection of Spanish Avenue. Come right here, Victor. Do you have anything uh, illegal there on you? Let's give him a quick pat down here. Any weapons, drugs? What am I going to find here if I search you? What are you doing out here racing early this morning? A pet collar on Victor Kozlov. Dispatch 3, Adam 10. I need a 1027 on a Victor Kozlov. Let's find out what he comes back as. And there it is. License is suspended. So on top of that, he's also driving with a suspended license. Let me go ahead and uh, get a prisoner transport out here to pick him up. Dispatch 3, Adam 10. I need a 1091 here to my location. And I'm going to be uh, going after the uh, second suspect there. Last seen westbound on Spanish Avenue. Let me go ahead and see if we can catch up to him. Um, waiting for the prisoner transport to get here as quickly as possible. There they are. They're just stuck in traffic right now. I know this vehicle cannot be used for suspect transport. I'm not trying to use this vehicle for suspect transport. I just want... I'm going to take him over. Because we don't have any time here at all to waste. What? How can I not... Really? Can I not squeeze in through the two cars? Come on. Here, I'm just going to take him over right here. Hey, officer. I got him right here. Hello, there you go. I got him right here for you. Crazy. Pick him up and I'm going after the other guy. We have multiple dots right now on our minimap, so I'm going to try to investigate, see which one is which, but I believe I saw the truck class going, why can I not squeeze in through this opening? I have no idea. There we go, slide right across the hood just like that. And uh, let me go back there right now and investigate. Look at that, the Mustang has been already destroyed. See if we can just squeeze in through these vehicles. Yes, we can. All right, he's been picked up. He's good to go. What do we have here? Looks like we have a truck here that's been abandoned. Is, he, is that the... That might be the suspect, actually. That, I think, is the, the secondary suspect that we're looking for. Sir, out of the truck. Get your hands up. Get out of the truck. Get on the ground. On the ground. On the ground. On the ground. Just get on the ground right now. I think that is our suspect. He does have a yellow dot. We're going to try to confirm once we place him in custody. Dispatch Sorry, piece of crap. 3 out of 10. I believe I have the second suspect located here on uh, Spanish Avenue at the intersection of North Archer. All right, sir. Are you the one that was racing? Yep, looks like he is. We are code 4. All right, go ahead and sit down here for me. Do you have anything illegal on you? I'm going to give you a quick pad down here. You have any weapons or drugs or used enemas? Wigs made out of pubic hair, a passport. Okay, Jim Caput. Uh, dispatch three, Adam 10 requesting a 1027 on a Jim Caput. Let's find out what he comes back as. Does he have a suspended license? Yes, he does. He has a suspended license as well. Look at that. All right, no active warrants there on Jim, but a suspended license. So he's also going to be going to jail. 
Uh, dispatch 3, Adam 10, can I get a 1091 here to my location as well for a second suspect in custody? And let's go ahead and clear these vehicles out of the uh, street here. I'm going to see if I can uh, quickly search the truck. Let's see what he has in this truck. We'll get a 1028 uh, plate check on the truck as well. And then get it out of here. Nothing of interest except a Polaroid camera there in the truck bed. Let me see if I can get... Oh my god, there's just traffic all over the place. Watch out. Let me see if I can just move my vehicle out of the way right now. Oh yeah, this thing is just going to completely destroy this poor Mustang. Brand new mus Mustang that Ellis uh, PD just got. And look at that, completely destroyed already on our first call. On our first call, dispatch 3, Adam 10. I'm going to need a uh, 1028. Marker is going to be 95, Charles David Boy 921, and uh, requesting a 1051 as well. Nine, five, Charles, David, boy, there it is. Nine, two, one, in traffic violation. Officer, yep. to use caution. Owner's license is expired. Nothing around being suspended, but it did come back as suspended there when uh, we pulled up his name there with dispatch. Let me go ahead here and search the second truck as well. Who is racing in pickup trucks? I have no idea. Knuckle dusters, a wig. There it is. Made out of pubic hair and a bottle of Viagra. How disgusting is that? Okay. Can you hold on there for a second? Somebody's so impatient there. Man. Let's do a plate check here on this truck. Oh, there's no plate here. All right, let's just get it out of here. This is causing so much headache right now. Dispatch 3, Adam 10. I need another 1051 here at Spanish Avenue, North Archer Avenue for the second vehicle. Let's just get it out of here before this turns into a complete mess. And uh, I think the suspect has been picked up. Yes, he has. We're going to be uh, code 4 and 10-8. Uh, Actually, 10-7. 10-7 back to station for a vehicle swap. Look at this. Just completely destroyed. All right, we're back here in Rockford Hills. I got myself a brand new Mustang. We had a second one sitting in the garage. Just been driving around, running some radar, looking for aggressive drivers or anybody speeding. And uh, it's been actually a really quiet morning here in Rockford Hills. Really not a heck of a lot of anything going on let me go ahead here this guy's just been a little weird he keeps uh, trying to turn and avoid me so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull up his plate here on my computer let's see what it comes back as and uh actually i think i got that bjxl which is not who i wanted i wanted this white car right here and uh looks like it blipped the other one there for me so we're gonna wait for that bj to just move off the uh bj for just to, to just move off the intersection there and let's go ahead and blip this fella right here He's just been driving very suspiciously. It's like he's trying to avoid me right now. That's what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead here and I uh, kind of roll through that stop sign. So we're actually going to initiate a traffic stop here and talk to him. Because he did roll through that stop sign right there. So that's going to be my reason for pulling him over. Actually, not a bad pull over here at all. Uh, dispatch uh, 3, Adam 10. I'm going to be at uh, 1038 here with a uh, white, uh, uh, white sedan on uh, Mad Wayne Thunder Drive. Let me start off by pulling up his plate which is what I was originally trying to do. And there it is, expired license. I knew there was something going on here with this guy. Johnny Herrera, 66 years old, has been stopped three times. Nothing is wrong with the vehicle. Everything is valid there in terms of insurance and registration. So let's hop out, talk to Johnny here, and uh, see where this takes us. Whoa, that was so close. Just make sure there's nobody behind us. And uh, let's talk to the driver. Hey, good morning there, sir. My name is Anton with the uh, Los Santos Police Department. Uh, do you uh, know why I pulled you over this morning? Oh, uh, did you see that jackass cut me off? Why aren't you going after him? Uh, no, actually, I did not see anybody uh, cut you off. The reason why I am stopping you is because I was behind you back there at that uh, stop sign and just before we turned onto uh, Mad Wayne uh, Thunder Drive and you rolled uh, right through that stop sign. So that's the reason why I'm stopping you today. Do you have a driver's license there I can take a look at? Okay, Johnny, fantastic. Uh, just hang on tight. I'm just going to double check all of your information here with my dispatch, and then we'll uh, we'll take it from there. Dispatch 3, Adam 10, requesting a 1027 on a Johnny Herrera. Let's see what he comes back as here. Dispatch confirming for us he does have an expired license. Let me run his plate also and see what, uh, what we have there as well. Dispatch also, I'm going to need a um, 1028. Marker is going to be 65. Paul Sam Victor 896. Let's see what that Six, comes back five, as. Paul, Sam, and there it is. Victor, Owner's license is expired. Okay. 
Officers to use caution. All right, Johnny. Uh, I think you know already that your driver's license is expired there. So um, I will be issuing you a citation for that. You will need to take care of that. And uh, have you had anything to uh, drink this morning? Uh, I don't want to answer that, he says. Okay, so what I'm going to do here in that case, since you don't want to answer my questions, we are going to do a quick breathalyzer test here, just standard procedure. So I'm going to ask you to blow into this tube here for me. And uh, we're going to see what it comes back as here. So just keep on blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing. And okay, he's perfectly good. All right, Johnny, fantastic. So right now I'm going to go ahead and issue you a, um, a uh, here an expired license. Uh, citation, so it's just going to be a hundred and fifty dollar fine. Uh, two points there on your license. We're not going to be seizing your vehicle today. It's just going to be a citation there. Now you do have fifteen days to uh, respond to the citation, and if you do actually get your license renewed in the next fifteen days, if you go down to the courthouse there, they will be able to drop the uh, ticket there for you. Okay, so uh, I'll get that uh, sign here, and uh, you can be on your way. Okay, drive safe this morning. See you later. Uh, dispatch 3, Adam 10, you can go ahead and show me clear off the uh, 1038, and I'll be, uh, I'll be 10-8. Attention all units, officers reporting a sighting Oh, we got a, a sighting of Trevor Phillips. And Rockford Hill. You will not fall back, repeat. You will not fall back. Stay Roger that, dispatch uh, 3, Adam 10, responding code 3 now. I'm right around the corner here. A sighting of Trevor Phillips, and there he is. He's coming right my way right now. Uh, dispatch 3, Adam 10. Oh, shots fired, shots fired. I have Trevor Phillips located right here outside the police station on Eastbourne Way, requesting additional units as well as a helicopter support to assist in case he tries to lose us here in the city. Yep, there he is. Oh, he's now going... He's in the opposite lanes of traffic there on the sidewalk as well. Looks like he just crashed into a tree. He's trying to get around those vehicles right now. We have multiple units on scene now. Opposite lanes of traffic right now going southbound on Abe Milton Parkway. We got pedestrians here on the sidewalk. Watch out, ma'am. Watch out. All right. Why are these units going so slow? Let's go. Let's go. He just made a turn right here onto Carcer Way. Turning eastbound right now. Carcer Way. All right. Let me get behind him. Again, shots fired. They are armed in danger. He's going to try to keep a little bit of our distance. What are you doing, unit? Wait there, continuing to fire shots here at the officers. Looks like Trevor might be stuck. They're getting out of the car. They're getting out of the car. He's running. He's running. Officers now in pursuit. Hey, on the ground. Officers in pursuit there after Trevor. Get on the ground. Put your hands up. Hands up. Wait, get your hands up. Get your hands up. Drop that gun. Drop that gun. Trevor is running. I repeat, Trevor is running. All right, let's go ahead and cuff uh, both Ron and Wade here. Looks like they might have him. All right, Ron, come over here. Can we not grab him? No, we cannot. Can you sit down here for me? Thank you. Let's get Wade uh, arrested as well. Uh, dispatch 3, Adam 10. I have uh, two suspects right now in custody uh, here on Carcer Way. Looks like Trevor Phillips is still on the run. Wait, what is happening with these vehicles? Why am I, am I like so fat that I can't even squeeze in into the opening there? Sit down right there. Let me see if uh, Trevor has been arrested. Looks like officers are coming back. Did they get him? Or is he? Yep, they got him. There he is. There he is. Trevor Phillips has been arrested as well. He's already getting picked up. Off he goes. That was a quick pickup here. I'm just going to get a quick uh, check on him. Uh, dispatch 3, Adam 10, requesting a 1027 on a Trevor Phillips. Uh, of course, there we go. Suspended license and he's wanted by the LSPD. So he's going to get transported here right away. Let's uh, search Wade and Ron, see what they have here on their person as well. And then we're going to get a prisoner transport out of here for these two. And uh, Wade here has got nothing of interest here on him. Uh, dispatch 3, Adam 10, requesting a uh, 1027 uh, here on a Wade Herbert, Hebert, H H Hebert, whatever his last name is. Of course, he's wanted. That was a given. And uh, let's go ahead and check Ron, actually, before we uh, before we get these guys out of here. All right, Ron, you have anything illegal there on you? Any sort of weapons or drugs or anything like that am I going to find? Let's go ahead and check him here. And he's coming back there with a samurai sword. All right, dispatch three out of ten. I'm also going to need a uh, 1027 here on a Ron Jakowski. 
A suspect is wanted well. So, so they're all wanted there and they got several bags of marijuana in the vehicle, a zippo lighter, a chainsaw, a pregnancy test kit, not quite sure who's using that, and an aerosol can of coyote urine. Uh, dispatch 3, item 10, can also get a uh, 1051 here to my location on Carcer Way at the intersection of San Vitus Boulevard for the uh, vehicle. And I'm going to need a uh, 1091 here for two suspects. Let's get the prisoner transport and let's get a tow truck to come out and pick these guys up. All right. There we go. All right, looks like the vehicles have been towed. They've been picked up. And uh, we're going to be... Uh, let me go ahead and blip this guy. We're just going to quickly pull up his plate here. Any Let's see. Unit. Oh, never mind. A stolen vehicle. Got a stolen vehicle. Uh, roger that, uh, dispatch uh, 3. Adam 10 responding code 3. Okay, so we got a... Uh, we got a stolen vehicle. They're occupied times 1. The officer on scene is reporting. So let me get over there as quickly as possible. Uh, that guy had a flag there come up on his vehicle, but of course right now we are responding to a call, so we don't have a time. We don't have time here to be proactive with our traffic stops. Looks like it's gonna be this street right here. Where's the vehicle? What? There's just an officer sitting out here doing nothing. Dispatch three items. You can go ahead and show me uh, 1023. Hey there, officer. Where's the car? Is there no car? Is that the car right there? Is this our suspect, possibly? Sir? Let me see if this is the stolen vehicle right here. I think this might be it. The bluish silver. Definitely looks like that could be our stolen vehicle. Uh, dispatch 3, Adam 10 requesting a uh, 1028. No, that's an alpha. On uh, marketer is 02 Nancy Robert Ocean 259. license plate. No, that's not it. No registration there. That's not our vehicle. So where's the vehicle? I have no idea where the vehicle is. I've never had this before. Usually you get into some sort of a pursuit here. We can drive around the block here and see if we, maybe we can find the stolen auto. But right now we got nothing. Is that? That's not it either. Suspect lost? There was no suspect. <laughs> All right, well, I guess suspect has been lost, even though technically there was no suspect. I don't even know where they were. All right, guys, well, that's going to do it for this episode of GTA 5 LSPDFR. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked the Mustang. As always, I'll see you on another one. Dispatch 3, Adam 10. You can go ahead and show me at 1042, and I'm going to be at 107 back to the station.